Hey guys, it's Thursday and it is the, you know what, I don't actually know the date. I think it might be the 17th of November. It's been a strange uh, 24 hours since my last um, uh, video, since my last workout. And uh, I ended up in the emergency room at the amazing Baltimore, Washington Medical Plaza. Um, I don't know if anyone noticed during my... Uh, Last two videos, actually. My left eye seemed to be sort of blinking on its own without coordination of the right eye. Um, and it began getting worse yesterday, uh, late morning. And my left side of my face became um, partially paralyzed. That I couldn't smile from the corner of my left hand side, I couldn't flare my nostrils, I couldn't blink my eye. Uh, on its own, I had to blink both eyes. It's still going on now, and will probably go on for uh, a couple more days, if not weeks, if not maybe a month or so. Um, I'll be on uh, medication starting today. Uh, I was taken to the hospital. Uh, my ex-wife and my medical advisors uh, pretty much insisted that I go because of the immediate concern was of stroke. Um, which to me it seemed, even though my father had a stroke, it seemed outlandish because I keep a really good diet, it's plant-based, no meat whatsoever, I'm actually a strict vegan. Um, I work out daily, hard cardio, yoga, relaxation, meditation. <coughs> but you know it can happen to anyone. Uh, it turns out, thankfully, gratefully, not to be a stroke, um, Bell's palsy which they don't really know why it happens. A virus, um, it's some type of um, muscle, not a pull, but um, something's wrong and the muscle is on part of your face, usually the left side, and it happens very quickly, which is why it mimics a stroke so um, uh, uncannily and why no matter what, seek medical assistance. I was very stubborn. I didn't want my um, things that I enjoy disrupted, which is a silly way of uh, doing things, but sometimes that's the way I am. So I don't know how the workout's going to go. Um, breathing should be fine, but I can't uh, fully open my mouth. Uh, so when I'm going to suck in some air, uh, it might be hindered. When I exhale, it might be hindered a little bit. I just don't know. It's a Navy, no, sorry, it's a um, six count day. I might approach it like every other workout. Today is supposed to be 12 reps for um, three minutes, four minutes, actually, and then settle down into 11. Um, I thought about just doing 10 all the way across. Just a nice, easy 200 calling in a day with a good finisher. But it might end up being that way. I might start with 12 and not get it very far. Uh, I might get 12 and have to go down to 10. So let's just proceed as if. This is going to be a regular workout, and we'll see what happens. I'm more concerned with the, they said there's no real effects of medication but I'm always slightly concerned that medication has some side effects that hinder my performance, that hinder my feeling of well-being. Um, but I also, you know, I do want to clear up the Bell's palsy. It's such a weird thing to even consider having. So let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the start button. Ten second countdown to the 50 second countdown. Wish me luck, guys. Just a few things are difficult. I can't whistle, not that that's any great loss, it's just weird not being able to. Sipping water, drinking water, eating, a little difficult, um, you know, because you're used to using your entire mouth for it. Um, eating an apple this morning was harder than expected. 
my breathing, my pranayana exercises is more difficult too. Because I can't flare the nostrils. Or I can't flare the left side. Ten seconds. Gotta be fun. This is where curiosity comes in handy. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, eight, one, two, three, four, five, nine, one, two, three, four, five, ten, one, two, three, four, five, eleven, one, two, three, four, five. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five. One. One, two, three, four, five. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Three. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, ten. One, two, three, four, five, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, twelve. Eight. One, two, three, four, 
two, three, four, five, ten. Five, two, three, four, five, eleven. Second five. Five, two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five, two. Two, 
three, four, five, eleven.
Eleven. Uh, uh, two, three, four, five, twelve. Uh, 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 uh. All right, guys. Give me a minute, please. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. Um, that was tough. For a lot of reasons. Mentally. Keeping my mind on track. <coughs> Not focusing. Um, on what's going on. Although, every time I counted, I could feel a slight slur in my speech. So it brought me back um, to what was going on. So it was an exercise in mindfulness, not distractedness. I'm not trying to distract myself from the condition, <coughs> but continuously, mindfulness isn't a one-time deal. You don't, not unless you're a Zen master. You don't place your attention on something and have it stay there for however long the duration you set out to do. In my case, 20 minutes here, or a 30 minute or hour meditation. It's a flow. Deep concentration is a flow, and then you reach that point where it just sits, it just settles. You go deep. And then a thought might cross your mind. It might be very subtle. If you catch it and it grabs you, and it carries you away, you just have to start again. If you're extremely careful, you note it, and you watch it pass, and you settle back into that space within its wake. Um, Alright. Sorry guys, my face feels weird. Just not used to it. And I wasn't able to open my mouth fully to take in a breath. So that made this a little more difficult to go. Fortunately, it's finisher time. And that's going to be pull-ups. Um, it's been a little bit since I've done eight-count bodyboarders. I'll probably take it easy on those. And it's 4 3 two, two, one. I think I did pressings yesterday. I don't remember. I forgot to write it down. Getting water. Swallowing isn't difficult, more so than it is a regular time with a condition with my esophagus. It feels so weird to be in shape. And the doctors and the nurses all commented that um, my vital signs, by all those signs, blood pressure, heart rate, <coughs> um, they did cholesterol check sugar test, all those, that I'm remarkably fit. And they didn't say, they made a point of saying, um, I'm not saying remarkably fit for 57, you are remarkably fit all around. Um, which is always nice to hear, especially at 57. But it's disconcerting to feel healthy, to be able to do things <coughs> and yet know that something is off, to feel that something is off, to feel like you're performing high level at 90% of your capability instead of 100%, 99%. Um, and there's just <coughs> little I can do about it. 
you know, and see doctors, and we see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get started with these. Four reps. Let's try to wear the wraps for pull-ups so I can go right into my uh, eight counts. I'm thinking the eight counts for, I was thinking originally five, take it easy. Let's see how I feel at five. That was one of my tougher uh, six count sessions since I got that to 36 a little while back. Um, I'm happy I held 11, and I got 12 in the last minute. But holding 11 certainly wasn't easy. Um, I think I'll throw in squats too. Probably just five reps. And that's just sort of as a filler. So four. Short break. <clears throat> Three rocks coming up.
two reps. <clears throat> so I wasn't sure I was going to make a video. Um, I woke up and my face was a little rearranged, lopsided. Now it's not so bad. I did some facial yoga exercises, and that seemed to help. Um, <coughs> meditation always helps, it just relaxes everything. Um, and I thought, even if it didn't look bad, which again, right now it doesn't, um, I'm just putting it all out there regardless. Um, you know, this is who I am, this is what I do. Two reps. been pretty, so why pretend that I am now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four. <coughs> wraps for my last few sets. I'm going to do one more round of um, eight counts and squats. My last four is for one. So I'm going to do two pull-ups, ten eight counts, five squats, one pull-up to finish. So, I don't know if working out was a mistake. I should have a disclaimer. If you have Bell's, Bell's palsy, any other symptom of anything, consult your doctor, get his advice. A nurse said, maybe I shouldn't do anything too extreme. She saw my, I was wearing an ultra running hoodie, and I had a race shirt on underneath. She said, oh, you're an ultra runner. Her father has 50Ks, and we chatted. She said, don't do anything extreme for a little bit until this clears up. But she did mention burpees. I know that's sort of a, a loophole. Um, <clears throat> honestly, I think burpees are more extreme than doing 50K. Racing a 50K is a different story. Running a 50K, debatable. Um, I feel better having done something. That's all I can say. That's why I do it. I think I would have, right now, I'd be feeling the same way had I not done anything physically, mentally, emotionally. I would be missing something important and essential for my life. Um, and I knew I could correct that. I knew I could fix that. I also knew 
the things went away, right, awry, um, I could stop. Fortunately, I didn't have to. All right, let's do this last round. Two pull-ups. Ten eight. Guys, maybe I'm better for it for having done it. <laughs> Yellow shirt for Reverend Terminator. Things away. Bring this up close. to talk about, and that is gratefulness. I am grateful that this wasn't anything long-term serious, short-term disastrous. I'm thankful for the staff at the Baltimore Washington Medical Plaza uh, who are incredible. Um, I'm thankful for my ex-wife who actually took me to the hospital and waited with me the entire time, sat with me through the test, uh, is picking up my medication because I'm not supposed to drive because my vision's messed up. Um, and you know, I wrote this morning in my blog and maybe I'll put a link to it in the description. I never remember. Nick Hardy gave me great advice a while back when I first started doing the videos to always put my blog in the description. And that's really good advice. I so just keep forgetting it. And on the subject, um, I certainly do miss Nick Hardy and his presence in the community, his presence on my page and the kind comments he always left, not to mention uh, seeing his hard work that he put in all the time. Uh, I hope he comes back when he's ready, when he wants to. Um, I wrote about uh, things are better. Now, here's the thing. If you see, I can only smile on one side, and it's better than it was um, than it was yesterday. It's better than it was this morning. You can see my eye blinking. Um, and um, this morning, I was thinking about my smile because I never think about my smile. How often does it ever come up that we think about it? 
And all I could think was it was a half smile. Um, and I can feel it. I can feel when I try to smile that it just won't go up. Um, and you miss something that you've never noticed before, which is just kind of odd. Um, I can't whistle. Uh, you know, I, I didn't go around the house whistling, but it's odd not being able to do it. Um, now, this is by no means a, a disability. Being able to not whistle is not a disability. I just did 225 six count burpees in 20 minutes and a nice finisher. Um, I am not complaining at all. But what I want to emphasize with the half smile is that that the thought of itself, the thought of having that half smile and not be able to do it fully made me, it gave me a mindful moment of all the things that I can do that I take for granted because I can do them without thinking about them. It doesn't take any degree of mindfulness to do this. Um, there's so much within that half smile to make me happy. There's so much that morning, that moment, uh, sipping a hot cup of coffee from the corner of my mouth. It's my one cup of coffee a day. Um, I'm up four o'clock in the morning, well before the sun comes up, to sit and just listen to the sound of nothing until the world starts to come alive. That first note of a bird song, um, that very first hint of a sun's ray, that turns a physical half smile into a full hearted smile of gratitude. Um, that's really all I can say about that is um, we are always given mindful moments of what we can do and what we can't do. Um, it does us a great service to just pay it. We don't have to walk around taking note of everything that happens in our life, but an occasional pause and filling ourselves up with a gratefulness of simply being alive, of having, being able to smile and having things to smile about even better. Um, all right, guys, with that, uh, I'm getting tired of looking in the camera and seeing my eye blinking like that. Um, let's call it a day. And uh, I look forward to seeing what everyone does on their videos today. All right, have a good day.